Hello and welcome back to the Okeechobee Libraries channel. My name is Madison and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the bookmark painting craft, which you might have gotten in our spring drive through But if not, you can always easily make this with supplies that you have at home. So to make this, you'll need a bookmark sized piece of paper. We have cardstock. You can also use construction paper or regular paper if you want to, but this one is like the thickest. You'll also need three colors of paint. We have purple, white, and green. You're gonna want white, but the other two colors are completely up to you. And then you'll need six Q-tips with and a rubber band. So wrap them in a rubber band. And just to make sure that you don't make a mess with the painting, you might ne also need a paper plate or a piece of newspaper or another piece of paper or even tape just to tape off the edges. Whatever you have available to you will work. Alrighty, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of tape off the edges. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clump of six Q-tips and remove two of them from the bunch. And then you're gonna take one of them and open up your purple paint, dip the Q-tip into the purple paint, and then kind of make purple circles around the bookmark. And I'm just gonna put these randomly around wherever I feel like it. You can put, you can make bigger flowers, smaller flowers, or as, as many as you wanna make. And then next you're gonna take your clump of four Q-tips together and the white paint. So you're gonna open up the white paint and I'm gonna get a paper plate for this to kind of continue to control the mess so that I can mix the purple and the white together. So first you're gonna dab it into the purple, put some on the side of the plate. You don't have to use a plate, but I want to kind of to mix the colors perfectly. And then you're gonna dab it into the white and then mix those two together to make a lighter shade of purple. And then you're going to dab into the lighter shade of purple and then kind of dab around the purple circles that you have. And then once you've successfully made your first round of lighter purple, you're just basically going to continue that process of taking more purple and some more white and adding more white every single time to kind of get a lighter shade of purple every single time you do it. So then you're just going to continue dabbing a new circle with the lighter paint every time and just kind of make the circle smaller. All right, so then once you have all of your purple petals kind of placed, as many layers as you want, you're just gonna take the dry end of the Q-tip bunch and you're just gonna take plain white this time and then just kind of dab it around in the middle of the flowers. So the last thing you're gonna do once your flowers are completely done, so you're gonna use the second singular Q-tip that you pulled out in the beginning, and then you're just gonna finally pop open your green paint. And what you're gonna do with this is just kind of put leaves or stems anywhere that you want to basically, if you wanna do that. So I'm just gonna dip this one into green and just kind of put the leaves wherever I want to. And you can even take a little bit of white and add it to the green like you did with the purple, and make a little bit more dimension inside of the leaves like you did with the flowers and the different layers. And that was how to make the bookmark painting flower kit from the spring drive through And if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. We have new videos coming out on our channel every single month that are related to either kid-themed videos or book mites and our movie morsel reviews. So all kinds of fun, family-friendly content all year round. Alrighty, and we hope you had fun making your bookmark and have a great day.